It's day uh, yep, 568. Uh, we're here in track of the Sheila and uh, we have a police escort over here. Good old Lloyd's back there driving the car, setting everything up. It's his last day today. And we have some folks over there that are uh, walking and uh, organized a pretty good event here. And I'm just going to catch up. Smile. Okay. 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 So okay. we're gonna go inside now? Yep. Okay. No. okay. Great. Uh huh? Is it good? Good. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. um, first of all, my apologies uh, uh, for not 
not speaking French. I, I, I knew how to speak French when I was a little boy, and I didn't practice it. So I have a CD now, and I'm, I'm learning, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to, to talk more. Uh, thank you for the uh, warm speech that you gave, uh, Mayor. I uh, also want to thank uh, Cecile for uh, organizing uh, a tremendous event uh, on, on short notice. Uh, and, and gathering all the uh, people to come out and, and walk with us and, and to show your community uh, the importance of uh, this subject, the organ and tissue donations. Uh, I had an opportunity to talk to some of the gentlemen that were walking with me and it seems like they're very familiar with the uh, subject. Uh, some had some personal uh, uh, experience with it and uh, this is what we're finding out in every community right across Canada. So it is a very important subject that, that we're addressing here and uh, we're, we're hoping to uh, uh, change the uh, situation in our country because Canada is still ranking as having one of the lowest rates when it comes to organ and tissue donations in, in the uh, civilized world. We're right at the bottom when it comes to organ and tissue donations. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of Canadians on the uh, waiting list that are waiting desperately uh, on the list and, and passing away because organs are, aren't becoming available. Uh, now, transplantation is a cure. 95% uh, uh, success rate. Any uh, medical community will, will state those facts to you in the world. Uh, so we have a cure in our hands. Uh, the other unfortunate thing is that we have a lot of wasted organs. So people on the waiting list are dying needlessly. They all could be safe. Uh, so our, our march, our walk, our walk you know, into every community <coughs> Uh, is to bring the message uh, about how important it is uh, to become an organ donor and, and to share the, the, this wish with the family because the family has to make the final decision at the uh, hospital uh, and, and it's all so very important to share your wish of becoming an organ donor with your family members. Uh, and so our, our march is to inspire people about that, but it's also to help change a, a better, to a better system. We're, we're, we, we want to, to have a system in our country where there's no waste of organs. Every organ could be used, you know? And if, if we had that system in our country, everybody on the waiting list would be saved, you know? So it's a very simple solution that we have in our country. Very, very simple solution. Uh, and we, we need to uh, bang the drum hard enough for the powers to hear it so that we can uh, make the changes that are needed to make in our country. Now we're proposing something called precious consent where uh, a data bank could be created, and we can register Canadians on the on the data in the data bank. And then, because one of the, the one mo mostly what happens is Canadians have a desire to donate their organs, and but they don't get around to doing it. And and there's so many people that are passing away uh, with. The desire and wish in their heart to donate the organs, but they didn't get around in their lifetime to do it. So that's a wasted, a missed opportunity, both for the individual and the family, the donor family, that benefits from a donation, because during the a donation, the, the family has a tremendous amount of comfort to to their grieving process after losing a loved one knowing that lives were saved. So what we want to do is create a system where there's no missed opportunities. So if we, if we can create a data bank and register everybody, 